Hi, welcome to Shannon's cooking video. What? <laughs> Hi, welcome to... Hi, welcome to Shannon's cooking show. Um, I'm really bohemian. I've been to Woodford at least once. I believe in harmony. Ever heard of Agnes and Julia Stone? <laughs> I have. Today I'm going to be making something um, that only rich people can afford to make. So if you earn less than rich, please stop and go and do something else. Yeah! We're going to be making guacamole. Yay! You know, which is a really fun dish that you can put on all of your Mexican items. But obviously you can only eat this if you are in fact Mexican, which I am. I know a really good recipe that my grandmother, um, sorry that's a Mexican word, you probably don't understand it, uh, used to make me. It's just a simple three ingredient dish. First thing you're going to need is avocado. This is the expensive part, so if you're still watching this and you're not rich, that's okay. Just use the other two ingredients without the avocado. Taco sauce. Um, this one's Old El Paso, which is the name of my grandmother. It's also 99% fat free. You can get 99% fat. I picked this up from my garden because I definitely grow tomatoes. First things first, we're going to open the avocado. Green for guacamole. This is a really stressful part because we will find out whether I picked a good avocado or not. Could also cut off my hand at any point during this. So when you make a little prayer, are you praying right now? I have that Mexican touch. We'll just put it in a bowl. Oh, we used the bowl for the last recipe. I own more than one bowl. Scoop that out. This actually does not look like a good avocado. Oh, it's one of those, you know those stringy avocados? Avocado, no. Is that its brain? Yeah. What of it? Why do I never pick good avocados? I mean, this is the best avocado I've ever seen. How to cut the tomato. I actually have no idea how to make um, guacamole, by the way. If you have onions, you also want to go ahead and use that. Um, however, I don't have onions, so. And then usually you'd blend everything up. Um, but I also can't be bothered to use a blender right now because I don't have onions, so it seems unnecessary. So I'm going to blend it up with my awesome biceps. It's a lot. What do you think? Need some taco sauce? Just that exact amount, any more or less than that, not going to work. Throw it out. And now we mash. I'm not going to do that. Thought about it, I'm not going to do it. Da -da 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 -da. I could probably teach you some Mexican right now. Spanish. They speak Spanish. Taco! Quesadilla! Avocado! Don Eladio lo puedo a mano por favor. Get the fuck out of my house. Tomatoes aren't blending for some reason. You'll know it's ready because it'll smell like home. It smells mostly just like avocado and tomato. And we're done! Because it'll look like this and you just want to have a taste test. Mm hmm. It's just like the guacamole that you get at restaurants. Thanks for watching Shannon's cooking show. Enjoy your guacamole. And remember to send me photos of your Mexican houses to remind me of my heritage. Just a little bit, that's my whole week's worth of food. You're not Mexican.